Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a tutorial video for MathDrills.com. Today, we are covering some addition and subtraction, adding and subtracting three digit numbers. This is worksheet A. Let's go ahead and get started. We're first going to cover addition with three digits, okay? The three digits are the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. So as we do this, we're going to use the standard algorithm. We're just going to add the ones place, then the tens place, and then finally, let me get my laser pointer here, ones place, tens place, and then finally the hundreds place. So we're just going to do one plus three, and that gives us four. Then we have zero plus zero, that's zero. We're writing the answers right, right beneath the line. And then we have eight plus five. Because this is the last column, okay, so this is the last column that we're adding, we can just write the whole number here. So eight plus uh, five is 13, so our answer is 1,304. What if we have something like this, okay? So in this example, we're going to do the same thing, one plus two, and that is three. That's the ones place, so that represents three. The next place is the tens place. So really, this is 90 plus 30. Well, that equals 120, but notice how in this answer, we had the next digit over, okay? The, the third digit, the hundreds place, we had that as part of our answer, okay? We go up a place. So what we're going to do for this example is we're gonna do nine plus three, and we're, we know the answer is 12, but we're not gonna write the one there. We are gonna carry the one up to the top, okay? This allows us to keep track of the proper places. We know that represents a 100 there, okay? Not just a tens place, and that doesn't represent 10, that represents 100, which is why we carry it over to the next column. So now we have essentially 800 plus 600 plus 100, which we're, we're just gonna keep track of by doing eight plus six plus one, which is, that's 915 or 1,500, and we're gonna put that just like that. So we carry this over to the next column and then add those digits, eight plus six plus one is 15, and that's gonna be our answer. So it's pretty simple, and we're just gonna add the columns up and those are gonna be our answers. So addition's pretty easy. Just remember to carry any sort of extra digits you have, unless it's the last column, then you can just put that last number there. Nine plus five is 14, so I just write the answer. Subtraction is a little bit different. So let's highlight some of the differences right now. Same procedure, you're gonna do the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. And you're gonna take turns subtracting each one. For this first example, it's pretty straightforward to do eight minus three, that is five. Three minus two, one. Five minus five is zero. But of course, you don't write the zero in front of 15, so get rid of that and just leave the 15, and that's gonna be your answer. Moving on to the next one, okay? This one's a little bit different now. This is distracting, I'm gonna erase it. Boom, get out of here, okay. So now we have eight plus, if you wanna see that, you're gonna to have to rewind. Eight minus one, seven. Okay, but here we go. This is the same thing as 10 minus 70, okay? Which we can't do, it's gonna give us negative numbers, and you technically can do negative operations uh, with the standard algorithm, but we're not concentrating on this right now. One of the things you'll know is you have to have the bigger number on top for subtraction in the standard algorithm, okay? For addition, it doesn't matter. For subtraction, it's important. But since we can't do 10 minus 70, we need the bigger number on top, we're gonna to have to borrow from the hundreds place. So we're gonna drop this down 100, and we're gonna change this to be 100 bigger. We can't do 10 minus 70, but we can do 110 minus 70. So how does that look? I'm making it probably a little bit too complicated, just wanna give some background on it. Essentially what we do is we take one away from this nine here, dropping it down to eight, and what do we do with that extra one? We put it in front of that one, making it 11 instead of just one. Now we can do this. We can do 110 minus 70, and that is 40. So really what that is, 11 minus seven, we put the four, which represents 40, which why is 47. And we have eight minus eight, that's zero. You don't need the zero. I just said that 47 is our answer there. So that's really what you do. It's kind of like going in reverse from carrying that number. Let's go ahead and check another example, uh, a couple examples out, and then we'll finish up. Zero minus five, we need to borrow right away. We can't do zero minus five, okay? No can do, but guess what? We also can't, uh, we can't do 20, uh, we can't borrow, well we can. Let's go ahead and borrow that. So we're gonna borrow this to make it one, drop that down and turn that into 10. So now we have 10 minus five, which we can do, five, okay? Uh, now we have one minus five, okay? So this is essentially one minus five, can't do that, so we need to borrow again and turn that into a four. 
and then we're gonna change this to an 11. Like I said, we need to move that over. Now we have 11 minus five, which is six. Four minus three is one. So 165 is our answer. What I was getting at is there are some cases where you'll have to borrow twice, okay? I don't know if there's any in this worksheet. I'm not seeing it off the top of my head. It's usually when there's a zero. Okay, that one's not a borrow twice one though, I don't think, no. So we'll just do this one, uh, four minus four, zero. You can't do zero minus four, so we're gonna pop this guy down, seven, put this 10 in front of there, or the one zero makes it 10. 10 minus 4 is 6, and then we get 60 for our answer, okay? And that's pretty much all there is to it for this worksheet. If there's any questions or one there, there's, there's a double borrow, let me know, and I'll make a video on it. But uh, regardless, check out more videos like this. If you need math, math help, I'm your guy, Wes Explains Best, and make sure to check out more videos like this right here on this channel. Looking forward to seeing you.